Welcome. I'm going to have a quick look at some of these voltage regulators that I've used in past videos and, uh, well, many past videos for controlling the speed of a washing machine motor. And I've made a video on how to wire a washing machine motor. So these are basically a big dimmer switch like you'd have inside a lamp. So basically what you've got inside here is a potentiometer, which is like the volume control to turn up or down the power. Or the voltage even. Then in here you've got this little black thing which is a BTA series triac and I wonder if we're going to get a look at this. You can see yeah BTA 16 600B. So the BTA is the, the type of triac that it is. The 16 is the ampage. Maximum amps. And then 600B down there just on top of that red thing is the maximum voltage. So this little one here should easily comfortably be able to handle 13 amps at uh, 230 volts you'd think but I've blown a load of those up while trying to control washing machines so whenever you get the shock load into the washing machine it just leaves it with a like constantly maximum value coming through it and this one has you can see from the circuitry on the bottom you've got an input and I think you can see in there an out so those are the output side and that's the input side so you've got your neutral here and it just bridges straight across the neutral out and you've got a live in and a live out and it's as simple as that you just wire it up and it's like I said just like a dimmer switch and for this kind of size of a one probably best to stick to smaller applications with this nothing spectacular when it fails it just it just fails and goes to an open or maximum value next step up that I've used is this one here and you can see the triac on the back there if we're going to get in it's a BTA 41 800B, I can't get a focus on that. BTA 41800B, so there you're going up to 40 amps. So this little one here was a 16 amp, and now you've gone up to 40 amps, so far bigger. And so we can see if we compare them that they're pretty much the same thing. They've got a one of those, which is the same as a one of these, that's some kind of a capacitor. You've got one of those, and this one you've got two of those, and then you've got some various resistors and whatnots, but really the main body of it is this switch on the back, and that's the triac switch, and that controls how many of the pixies come out versus go in. And to compare this one to this one, you can notice there's only two screws on this one and four screws on this. So where this one saves a penny on a bit of solder and a bit of a screw is that it only does live in, live out, no neutral. And you can see on this one, the neutral doesn't touch anything. It just uh, just bridges straight across from one screw to the other. Then stepping up, this is the one that I've been using most recently, and I've opened it up for you to have a look inside. Same as this one, one in, one out. Ratings are on the back there. 220 volt, 23 amp. If we look inside, you get a little circuit board, you've got your triac there on the back, lots of aluminium cooling fins. Potentiometer is exactly the same as this one. It's a WTH1181A and that's the same. There you go. And if we look at this, if we can get in there. It's a BTA 41600B. And it, oh, and it's different. It's a BTA 41800B. So really, this one here can take a higher voltage than this one, which is kind of a surprise because I would have thought this would have been the, uh, you know, if you look at the meat of them, much bigger piece of stuff. But yeah, there you go. And again, likewise, these two are similar in that they've got the same live in, live out. They don't have a neutral. So they're really only taking the power off the live there to control whatever's going on. And so that about exhausts my limit of knowledge on these things, but I do know that if you want to control a washing machine, go for the bigger one. In terms of cost, this one here on eBay, I think they were running around £2.50 delivered from China, and you've got to wait about a month for them to arrive, but they do arrive, and it's cheaper than getting from the UK. I think it was probably twice the price if you got them from the UK direct. These were more expensive. I would say these were up around the, I think this was around the £6 mark. 
um, that was from China again rather than from directly from the UK so something similar on this I think it's cheaper because there's less aluminium in it really and that's where a lot of your money's going to go on this stick to a big one if you're doing washing machines especially for destruction but even if you're going to use it for something like a, a polisher or that probably better to get the big one doesn't look like much and I was always a bit wary of this actually let's have another look at this um, I was quite wary of this one because I thought I don't want to touch this you know bad idea and whatnot but if you look in there <laughs> there is no real insulation but they don't touch so the input and the output voltage uh, the line in and the line out don't touch the housing so the housing isn't live but that's not great comfort to you the other thing to note is that the BTA 41 and the A in BTA means that it's insulated so this piece of aluminium here the backing of the triac is insulated it doesn't have any current going through it if you got the BTB model the uh, the backing would be the same as one of the legs I think the center one if I'm not mistaken but it's kind of irrelevant because we've got the insulated one here so because this is insulated it means that there should be no voltage but there should be no voltage going through the aluminium or, or getting anywhere near it but it is a bit sketchy because you can see that those little straps there that go to the pin out on the back or not pin out but the connector out on the back are very close so if it took any kind of a knock at all there is a risk that you could have a voltage going through the outside um is, is it a real risk you know if you're running it on a circuit breaker or something like that it's probably not a big deal equally i wouldn't want to be touching it and this one here you could actually take off that potentiometer it's on a little plug and socket there but i'll leave it in for now so yeah thank you there you go so another point to note is that this one's saying for continuously rated maximum 20, 240 volt 23 amps. So when you're on a continuous rating, you don't want to go over that 240 volt 23 amps. So just putting this back together and like the build quality on it is atrocious. All of these fins, like they're not razor sharp. I'm able to hold them in my hand without any risk, but they are certainly not rubbed off. They've just been cut with some kind of a TCT wood saw from a big long extrusion and then all the bits have been drilled and screwed in. You really gotta wonder how you can make this and get it from China for about six, seven quid. It really is unbelievable. So then, just to wrap all this up, what I would prefer to use in most situations, if you have the option, what you really wanna get your hands on is one of these, a Variac. This is a very act that could do about 8 amps. So, in reality, this can't handle what this little thing here can. So, yeah, if you really want to make it happen, go and get one of these big ones. But even this, it's kind of on its limits if you're putting it through a washing machine motor on full, full belt. Yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching.